God, and he warns us of all things. He's a merciful God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you, oh God, for this day. For this is the day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, oh God, for your word. We thank you for the opportunity, God. We ask you to take me down in the deep mysteries of your word, God. Crucify self, oh God. Lord, I realize that I can't do nothing without your thoughts and not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts, your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not hither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. For ye shall go out with joy, and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into sin, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. The word of the Lord is blessed. And here is a call of repentance for God's people today, for everyone. He said, no, everyone, you, me, and everyone. God is calling us to seek him right now with our whole heart. He says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yeah. Because we're living in the last days. Yeah. You're not going to be able to find God. People is calling them and they're scarcely getting saved now. It's getting yeah. harder and harder to receive the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Because the people are not seeking them like we used to seek them. Yeah. See, we used to fall down and we used to be diligent seekers. Now people are not diligent. They want to seek him when they want to seek him. Hallelujah. They want to pray when they want to pray. We want to be consecrated when we want to be consecrated. Yeah. But the old school was diligently seeking. Yeah. When we had prayer service, we had prayer service. Yeah. Constantly. We didn't have no prayer once a week. Amen. We had prayer service three times a week. Everything you did before, before you did it, you had an hour prayer. That was diligently seeking him. Amen. But those seekers that were seeking the Holy Ghost, every time we had the altar open, they came. Every time the door was open, they sought the Lord with their whole heart. And they wasn't worried about nobody else. But they were worried about getting close to God. Yeah. And so they laid on the altar. And they were praying. Some were praying. Some was calling on the name of the Lord. And as we got older in the Lord, we found out what God requires us of us. To get him. It's not so much calling on the name of the Lord as being diligent. Yeah. Diligently seeking him. Yeah. He said, come, seek uh, me while I may be found. Yeah. Call upon me. So every opportunity to go to the outside, get the door open. Yeah. It's your time to seek God. Uh, Call upon him with your whole heart. Yeah. When you're at your job, you can seek him. You can find a fireplace yeah. and seek God. And yeah. call upon his name. Lord, save me. Lord, fill me. Yeah. I need you, God. Yeah. Because some people are going to work and they're not making it back home. Yeah. So every day, these are the last days. Yeah. Yeah. We are living in perilous times, yeah. he said. Yeah. Men have become lovers of themselves rather than God. Yeah. Doing whatever they want to do. Yeah. Picking what assignment, whatever they want. Yeah. Not waiting on God to promote them. Yeah. They promoting themselves. Yeah. And they are dead. And that's what not God. God didn't call us for that. Yeah. He called us to be witness. Yeah. Effective witness. Yeah. To tell a broken hearted. God loves you. Yeah. He needs you. He's, he wants to save you. Yeah. And no matter what. 
stir up strife yes. and confusion among Amen. the brothers yes. and division among the saints. Amen. No, he told us to rejoice when one rejoices yes. and cry when one cries. Yes. So God says, seek me now, repent and seek me yes. because I want my house to be clean. You see, God is a merciful God. Yes. He said it's not his desire that any soul shall perish, Amen. but all come unto repentance. Yes. And he's given us time to repent daily. Yes, Although we see the signs of the time, he's yet given us time yes, to repent because he said when he comes, it'll be without no excuse. Amen. No excuse for you. No excuse. And see, we can't get up in heaven and say, Lord, when you stand before me, I repent, Lord, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Too late. It's too late. Amen. He's going to tell you, depart from me, I work. you workers of iniquity, I know Amen. you not. Because you cause confusion, Amen. jealousy, and strife among your brothers, tearing them down. God didn't call us to do Amen. that. He called us to win souls. Yeah. We are supposed to be soul winners. Yeah. Show the people compassion and love in spite of whatever they've done. Amen. God forgave them. That's why he said, my ways are higher than yours. Yeah. And my thoughts are higher than yeah. yours. So he don't handle stuff like we handle. He casts people aside when we don't like it. But God doesn't do that. He take, the, he take that castaway person yeah, and build them up yeah. higher than you. Yeah. Okay? And there's nothing you can do about it. Amen. So God is a good God. So he says, seek me now. Yeah. Seek my ways. Not your ways. Seek my ways. Yeah. I'm telling you to seek me because I want to help you. Yeah. I want you to come unto me. Yeah, yeah. But you can't come unto me any kind of way. No. So seek me while I may be found. Yeah. Call upon while I'm near. Amen. He said, they that call upon me, I shall answer them. Yeah. I'm, I'm right here. My ears are open yeah. to your cry. Yeah. I just want you to seek me and call me. Yeah. Call upon me for everything, yeah. anything. That's why he said, they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah. It doesn't only mean to get saved. It means to call upon him for anything. Yeah. All my trouble, Lord Jesus, help me. Yeah. Lord, I need you to fix this. I need you to fix my children. I need you to work out the situation at my job. Yeah. I need you to work out the situation in my family. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. you're the only one to say yeah. I can't do it, but he said, call upon me. Oh, I'll answer you. Yeah. I'll answer yeah. you. And see, when God, and la, 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 when yeah. he answers you, yeah. it's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's finished. It's over. Amen. When you have a case in, the, in, in court, yeah. say, Lord, he said, call on me. Yeah. I said, God, go before me. Go before me and intercede, Lord. Yeah. You know the problem. Yeah. And when I get there, the case is already solved. Yeah. That's what he means, call upon him. Yeah. He'll fix every situation. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He said, blessed is the man that doeth this, yeah. and yeah. the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Oh, God. I remember growing up, we couldn't do nothing on the Sabbath day. Amen. We couldn't go to the laundry. We couldn't go to the store. We couldn't iron no clothes. You couldn't watch TV. You couldn't do nothing but just do your homework and go in the room and shut up. And, and bet not have a, something to say. Because <laughs> you find yourself getting up from under the table. Amen. Okay? Don't think about honor. My mother was like this. You knew all week long what you were going to wear to church on Sunday. That's right. Don't get up in here putting up, plugging up nothing. Amen. Come outside with your ankle. <laughs> and we say, oh. But you see, now the saints of God even making an excuse on Sunday. Amen. And I'm guilty. I had to repent. I said, Lord, forgive me. Because I know all day Saturday I have stuff to do. And all day, and I said, Lord, help me to schedule my week all through the week to get my stuff ready. Okay? And Saturday is the only thing I have to cook. But as far as washing and laundry and shopping and all of this nonsense, no. God said, don't give me that day. One day. One day. Because yeah. we say we give him Sunday, but we really don't. Because we're looking at our watch and get out of church so we can get home and wash our clothes for the rest of the week. Amen. Or cook the food. So God said, look, mm -hmm. blessed is the man that don't do it. Take hold. Consider what God is saying. Yeah. He's saying this thing for a reason. 
He want to bless us. Yeah. See, when we obedient to God's yeah. word, yeah. he said he will not withhold any good thing from them to walk upright before him. Yeah. So if I'm doing everything that, I, that God told me to do, all I have to do is ask. Yeah. He said, all you have to do is ask. Yeah. And I'll answer before you even ask. Because I know your thoughts. Yeah. See, this is what God, he want to get us to that level of obedience and humbleness. Yeah. To follow his word and not our way. Because we've gotten so holy, oh, we know the word, and we know God will forgive us. And see, all we got to do is repent. Now we start playing with God, with the word. All I got to do is repent. I'm going to iron this stuff. I'm going to do this here. Because God know my heart. He know what I got to do. He, he sure knows. He knows what you have to do, and he knows your circumstances. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't have a job. Okay? Hello, somebody. Amen. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't have nothing. Amen. And all, all our sources come from God. Yeah, Everything yeah. that we have. So we have Amen. to govern ourselves. You know, yeah. that's about the only thing the Jews do. Yeah. They honor the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. They don't do nothing for Amen. themselves. Amen. They don't even press their elevator. Amen. They don't even turn on their lights. Amen. They do nothing. And we say sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost, fire baptized, doing everything on our Sabbath, everything but praying and fasting, and everything but forgiving one another, and loving one another, and encouraging one another. Amen. Lord, help us. So he says, see, neither let the son of the stranger that have joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord have utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. Well, the son of the stranger don't even know the Lord. Amen. He had to first repent. Yeah. And the eunuch is one that desires to serve the Lord. He sold himself out to do something for the Lord. But here goes somebody going to say, oh, you dry, you can't do nothing. Yes, he can. He sold himself out for the Lord, to yes. just serve the Lord and the Lord only. Yes. And that's why he's not dry. The Lord can use him yes. more mightily than he can use that self-righteous one that think he has sold himself out. Yes. Okay. He said, for thus said the Lord unto the, um, no, sorry, but even unto the then will I give my house, and within my walls a place, and a name better than of sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. You see, God, for their obedience, God is going to give them that and, and his covenant, and that's what he's going to give those of us who are obedient. Keep his laws and his statutes and his ways. He said he's going to give us an everlasting covenant yeah. and an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. All we have to do is be obedient yeah. to the word. He, called, he told us to what? Forgive one another. How many times? How many times? Say? 70 times. That's a number of times. Then he told us to what? Love ye one another. No, he said love some people. He said love the ones that click with you. Y'all get along together. That's what he said. He said love you one another. Okay? And he, he said help one another, didn't he? Oh, I ain't helping. I ain't helping, Shepherd. You don't need my help. Did he say help somebody? Some people or one person or everybody? He said help. Help us of one another. Amen. Okay, I don't know all everything and you don't need them. Amen. So I need some help from you and you need some help from me. Amen. This is how the church can grow. Yeah. Once we acknowledge that we need help. Yeah. We ask to God for help and he didn't send the help. Yes, but we don't want who the help come from. Amen. Now that's sad. Yeah, that's sad. God didn't send the help. If we all get on board and be helpers of one another and follow the spirit, the church can grow. Amen. Yeah. We can grow. And then we can win souls. Amen. He said, if I be lifted up, Amen. I'll draw all men unto you. Oh, not man. you be lifted up. Yes, he, did. he said, if I be lifted up, if he be lifted up, and we do what God said, do Amen. love one another, help one another. Yeah. That's Amen. lifted up God. That's lifted up the spirit. Yeah. He said, I'll draw all men unto Yes, that, that's a covenant he has. Yeah. Also, 
the sons of the stranger to join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servant, everyone that keeps the Sabbath from polluting it and taking hold of my covenant. God wants you to take hold of that covenant. Stop doing everything and put everything before you on Sunday. Just sell yourself out. He said he didn't want to be my disciple. Amen. You got to deny yourself. So I'm denying myself. I'm, I'm making my way into the house of God. Amen. Because I want to give God my all in all. Yeah. So when I come in here, I'm going to sing like I'm going crazy. Yeah. I'm going to clap my hands if I can't do nothing else. Like I'm going crazy. Like this is my last day. Right. Make a melody before the Lord. He said when the praises go up, the yeah. blessings come down. Yeah, so I ain't going to come dragging in here like, oh, I'm, I just made up tired. Oh. <laughs> We singing Jesus on the main line. Jesus on the main line. You sure he on the main line? Don't sound like he on the main line. We should be lifting up our voice. Making a, glor a, a, a glorious noise unto the Lord. Amen. That's what brings down the fire. We want glory. We want God's glory to come back in the house. Yeah. Sister Taisha ushers in the glory of God. Amen. She ushers in it because she put her all in all with it. And you can feel the virtue when she sings. That's how every one of us should be. Because we entered into his gates with thanksgiving and praise. Yeah. He said, enter into thanksgiving and praise. Why? Because we love the Lord. We want to bless the Lord. Yeah. And once we bless the Lord, when we start blessing him, you know every, every trick and scheme of the enemy is scattered out the way. Yeah. But when we walk out of here for this week, Every plot and plan that the devil had, God then moved it out the way. He then cast it down. That's why it's important for us to come in here and give him the praise, the glory, and the honor. Because he's working on things. We're working behind the scenes that we don't even know about. We worried about stuff and God then worked it on and on and out. Why? Because we put it our time in. The songwriter said, put your time in payday is coming after what? We got to do it with our whole heart, say. Christ is soon to come. Amen. And he's getting ready to flood them doors with sinners and backsliders. So it behooves us to study to show ourselves yes, a, a yes, yes. Study God's word so you know Amen. what to say when yes. they come through the door. You know how to keep them. <laughs> he said, don't run them back out Amen. because that's going to be charged to you. Then you're going to have to answer to God for that. Yeah. Hmm. So God is good. He's good. He's worthy to be good. Yeah. But you shall go out with joy. I'm at the 12th verse. And be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into sin. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn tree, well, we're going to talk about that. Once we Go back to God and seek Him and seek His way and do what He wants us to do. Amen. He said, We shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. Yeah. My steps are ordered by the Lord. We're walking in peace. When I'm obedient to God, we're, we're led by peace. Yeah. Yeah. The mountains and the hills shall break forth uh, before you into sin. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands because of your obedience to God. And you can be in the midst of confusion, but you'll have peace yes. and joy. And you'll yes. be able to witness to somebody else and call them that. Amen. Why? Because of walking in the, in the goodness of God and the mercy of God Amen. and the obedience of God. That's what God will do. He'll make your enemies even be at peace with you. Yes. When you walk in obedience with God. Yes, he'll right. shut the mouth of liars when you walk in obedience of God. Amen. And he'll let their own wickedness fall back upon them. Amen. See, God is a good God, but people don't want to hear. He's a terrible God when you touch his anointing. Yes, he yes. said, touch not my anointing and do my problem no harm. Yes, okay? So yes. you better be careful what you do and say to God's anointing. Amen. Whether they up to your standards, whether you like them or not. Okay, you better be careful. Yes, sir. 
because God is the judge. We are not to judge nobody. He said he is the righteous judge. God gave him power over the earth. Not us. We don't have no power over nobody but yourself. Okay? That's why he said judge ye not. Amen. Okay, just work out your own soul salvation with trembling and fear and humble yourself before the Lord and he'll exhort you in due time. When he thinks you're ready. Not when you think you're ready. Because see, our ways is not his way. We might be doing a whole lot of stuff, but what's the motive behind it? Is, is the motive God's motive? No. That's why he's having to torture you. Because you got to walk before him right with a right. pure heart. You can't be God and in your heart for some people and think God is working with that. God is not working no, with that. No, he works with a pure heart. He sees what you do. He said, I don't I don't forget your 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 uh your work, your labor of love. I don't I won't forget that. Amen. He knows what you do in his time. He yeah. said, My time, I'll yeah. exhort you. Yeah. You don't exhort yourself, you just keep humble. Yeah. Humble as you can be. And look what happened as the trees break out singing and clapping and I'm telling you, that's something. Yeah. That's something. Yeah. All we have to do is just be obedient to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said there's not one good thing that he will withhold from them. They walk upright before him. Nothing. We can ask God for anything and he'll do it. It's his will for us to have it. And sometimes he gives us things to our hurt. It's not that he desires us to have it, but we, of course he's a God that he does not lie, his word does not return unto him for it. He said, whatsoever you ask, if you believe you have it, you can have it. Not that I wanted you to have it, but that's what you wanted. Okay? And so God will give it to you because you desire it. And he said he, he will, won't withhold any good thing from those that walk up right before them. And some people had even repented and said, Lord, I'm sorry that I asked for that because I didn't need it. Yeah. So it's a reality with God. He's a good God. He hears everything. He knows everything. Yeah. And he sees all things. Trust me, saints, whatever we do, God knows it before you're going to do it. Yeah. He already knows the outcome. Yeah. That's why he said, warn my people to seek me now. Yeah. Seek me. And ask God to create and be a clean heart. Yeah. And renew a right spirit. Yeah. Lord, work on me, not yeah. nobody else. Yeah. We're so busy looking at everybody. Finding fault. God didn't tell you to do that. Yeah. He told you to help one another. Be yeah. lovers of one another. Yeah. Helpers. Not judges. He said don't judge. The same judgment you judging me, somebody is judging you. Right. Worse. Okay? So we have to keep in mind, these are the last few days. Christ is soon to come. Yeah. Sooner than we think. And so don't think that you could, oh, I can make it home and I'll repent, or I'll make it to the altar. No. Because he said, no man know the day or the hour when the Son of Man is coming. Amen. None of us. And he's coming like with a twinkling of the eye. Amen. So tomorrow might be your day in a twinkling of the eye. You thought you was going to wake up, but you didn't. You know what I'm saying? You've got to be ready Amen. at all times. we got to ask God to create in me a clean heart. Lord, keep my heart right between, uh, uh, among all of my sisters and brothers. Yeah. You know people don't like it. It's all right. You don't have to like me. I love you anyway. Yeah. Okay? Because I have salvation. Yeah. He gave yeah. me that love. Yeah. That's the fruit of the spirit. Yeah. You have to, you have to uh, walk with the fruit. Yeah. Where's your fruit? Where's your fruit? Hate is not one of the fruit. Jealousy is not one of the fruit. Envy is not one of the fruit. Yeah. Okay? Those are none of the fruits of the spirit. No. Yeah. And God does not even dwell in a temple that's projected that image. Amen. Yeah. So we, we got to stop saints. We got to get right with God. Yeah. And act like it's our last day. Amen. You have to act like it's your last day. Yeah. Lord, check me. Yeah. Lord, I got a problem. See, the saints don't want to face the point back that some people have a problem. Some people need medication. Yeah. Okay? Some people do. Yeah. Lord, I got a problem. Help me. If you got a jealous problem, God will help you. Yeah. He knows it already. He's just waiting for you to confess it. Yeah. That's all. That's all. And he's a just and faithful God. He's a good God. Yeah. Because what did he say? The harvest is plenty and the laborers are few. Yeah. 
they see me doing something for this sister, then they get jealous. And that makes them drop off from my spirit. So I can't use them anymore. So our job is, Lord, fix me up so you can use me anytime, anywhere, any any day. Yeah. Go where you want me to go. Yeah. Say what you want me to say. Do what you want me to do. Yeah. That's why he says, seek me now. Seek me now is the time to seek yeah. him. Yeah. Put your whole heart. Lord, fix me up so that you can use me for your glory, not my glory. Yeah. Everything is not of you, Lord. Crucify it out of my life, my mind, my thoughts. Yeah. I want to be used by you yeah. and you alone. Yeah. We can't even walk in our thoughts. Amen. Lord, we have to ask God for everything. God, our mind, our, th yeah. our mouth, yeah. Yeah. our ears. Yeah. Be careful. Saints, we have to be careful. God wants us to seek him while he may be found. Yeah. And call upon him while he is near. Call upon him for everything. Yeah. Every situation. Call upon him. Everything. Don't use your own judgment. Because this yeah. is the, the enemy is so tricked today and, and scheming. And he'll make you fall into a trap so quick. You have to yeah. ask God for everything. Guidance and everything. That's Even right. with our children. Going back to school, they try to confuse our children's mind. Yeah. Make them think that it's all right to have two mothers. It's all right to have two fathers. What kind of, that's, that's the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to confuse our children. So we have to put on the whole arm of God, get yeah. back in that right place. Then we know how to minister to our babies when they come home. Yeah. After they've been in school with all this foolishness. Yeah. Because the, the homosexual population have taken over the Board of Education. Yeah. So a lot of them are teachers. Right. And this is why they're teaching our babies at a young age. Yeah. This nonsense. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We need power. Yeah. He said after that the Holy Ghost will come upon us, he gave us power. But you, you can lose your power by not praying and advancing like you should. Yeah. Not forgiving like you should. Yeah. Jealous and envy and strife. You can lose some of your power and your anointing. Yeah. That's why we have to be revived. He said, Lord, would thou revive us again? We need to be revived. Yeah. So much chaos in the world, we need to be revived. So much chaos on the job, we need to be revived. Lord, revive us that we be able to stand in these last and evil days. Pray much for the Lord.